How's it going everybody? I just got my hands on the brand new Cloudbreaker 2. It's a regular Swirly S-Line DD3, but I wanted to kind of throw it and compare it to some of the other DD3s that are out there, some of the different variations of the mold. Uh, I got a couple of them and some of them are pretty domey and some of them have mild dome. I didn't really get any that were, you know, very flat. So I'll be interested to see how those two differ in flight. So let's check it out. So starting out, I'm trying to throw the disc up in the air and on a nice hyzer line. So you can see how the disc holds a hyzer. Cloudbreaker 2 does that well. And the Echo S line flips up a little bit and has some straight flight kind of in the middle. Next we're going to look at the Cloudbreaker 1. You can see that that one also has some flip to it even though I threw it higher still flipped and went forward for you know about a fourth of the flight and this is the stock S line DD3 and it holds that line nicely similar to the Cloudbreaker 2. Next I'm going to be throwing these discs flat to maybe a little bit of Anheuser. These first two shots are the Cloudbreaker 2 and you can see they hold it for you know about a fourth of the flight before they come back hard left as opposed to a stock S line DD3 it kind of holds that Anheuser line a little longer before coming back but not as much as a Cloudbreaker 1 or even an Echo you can see how much right movement that Cloudbreaker 1 had and lastly, I'm throwing them on a little bit of hyzer and trying to get them to flip. You see the Cloudbreak, Cloudbreaker 1 does that nicely. Uh, the Cloudbreaker 2 flips up to flat, but it comes back hard left. And the Echo, we know that this one's going to flip. Being the most understable of D3, you can see it even gets some of that right movement before coming back. And last we have the stock S-Line DD3 which kind of just goes straight for the most part and has that nice gentle finish to the left. So there you guys have it, that's the Cloudbreaker 2. Not the most overstable but definitely not an understable DD3. Depends on which one you get. My Domi one that I have is very overstable and I can't really get it to turn over. The ones with the mild dome fly really nicely, similar to a stock S-Line DD3. It's cool to see that all the colors that they made have nice swirls in them so you know everybody can be happy and I think that they increased the quantity that they made so hopefully there's no problems with Dismania selling out or running out. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to put this in your bag or are you going to keep it as a wall hanger? Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.